Hey everyone, it's Zweb Khan again and welcome back to my channel. In the previous video, we added the search users functionality and we created new chats. Today, we are going to fetch the current users chats and display them in a nice looking selection list. So let's get started. So the first thing that we need to do is to define a chat interface so that we can use it in our different functions. So let's go in models and let's define a chat interface called chat.ts and I already have an interface here defined. We can copy it in and we're going to include profile user which we already have. Okay, so we have all of our main data points here like ID, last message, last message date, user IDs and users. Uh, for chat pick and chat name, we have added some special dynamic values here. Now this is because we need to set this based on the currently logged in user. Also, let's define the message interface here as well while we are at it so we are going to add message interface here this has the text the sender id and the sent date according to what we decided initially with the data structure great so now with the uh, structure defined now let's go to our chat service and in our chat service we are going to create a getter from which we are get uh, we will get all the chats for the current user so let's create a getter here called my chats and this is going to give back an observable containing the chat type that we've already defined and the and it would be an array of that okay great so the first thing here we need to do is to create a reference the reference would be of a collection of a collection of this dot firestore and the chats collection then of course we need to get all of the chats for the current user so for that we will first refer to the uh, user profile or the currently logged in user so we are going to get current user profile and we will pipe into it. Then we will add a concat map operator. Here we are going to get the currently logged in user and inside of it, we are going to define a new query. Let's call it my query. We are going to define a query and uh, for the query, we are going to refer it to the reference that we had before. And the new thing here would be we will add a where clause. Now this where clause is going to use the array contains operator. So first we are going to tell it on which uh, data item uh, to use this. So we are going to add it to the user IDs data item. Then we will use array contains. And then for the value, we are going to give user.uid. So this query is going to give back all of the charts of the current user. Great. Next, we are going to simply return collection data as before. And we're going to refer to this query. Now, an extra parameter that we want to send here is the ID field parameter. This is going to give back the chat document ID in the form of this ID, doc, uh, this ID property so that we can use it in our UI. Great. And let's cast it as observable chat this. Great. So at this point, we are going to get our chats list the current users chat list. Um, but the last thing that we need to do here is that we need to add in the chat name and the picture as well. Because as we discussed that this was dynamic, then this depends on the currently logged in user. So let's create a function for this purpose. Uh, let's create a function here called add chat name and pick. And the input for this function would be the current user ID. Okay, this would be string. And then we can have the chats that we got from Firestore and it would basically give back the charts as well so here we are going to just loop through all of the charts so for each chat we are going to do some things okay so the first thing that we need to do here is to find out the other users index that is the user that is not logged in so to do that we'll have to first find out the index and what we're going to do that is we are going to use the chat dot user ids array and we're going to search in the index for that uh, we're going to put in the current user ID here. Okay. So index of returns um, the index of the current user ID. So if for example, that index is zero, that means it's the first index. Then we're going to return back one because the other one would be the other user's index. And if for example, it's not zero, it's one, then that means that it is uh, the, uh, the other user would be in zero. Next, we're going to just get the other user which would be chat dot user users and the same index that we got for the other index we're going to use here okay okay now we can destructure this and we want just the display name and we can we want just the photo url here and then lastly we're just going to assign the chat name to the display name and the chat pick we're going to assign to the photo url here all right okay so the chats list is changed now and we can just return the chats here Great. So now in our main getter function, we can just add a map uh, to collection data here like this pipe and map. 
and here we are going to get our charts and we're just going to call the same function add chat name and pick we're going to give our user here user dot uid and we are going to give our charts okay so user uid is giving an issue here so what we're going to do is that if it is null um we can just give an m just remove this issue okay we're going to cast the charts as this to remove this error great now this will give us back the charts as we want to the ui now that we have the chat list data ready we can build up the UI for it. So first let's go back to our home component and let's define a charts observable here. So we're going to uh, do uh, charts or rather we can also do my charts here. Okay. And let's just assign to this dot chat service, my charts. Great. So now we're going to use the uh, material selection list component. Now a material selection list is a special kind of list which you can see on the material organization, uh, material official documents documents here. So uh, you can have multiple selections or you can have single selections on this list. So first uh, to use that we'll first add in our app dot module we are going to add the mat list module here. So first quickly import it. Then we are going to um, add it to the imports. Great. Another one that we want to add is the mat divider. Let's import that as well. Great. Now let's go back to our home component HTML file and let's start adding it. So here right below the diff for the search input, we are going to add our mat selection list. Okay. Now, as I discussed before, we only want one uh, chart list to be selectable at one point. So we are going to make multiple as false here. Okay. Uh, so inside of it, the first thing that we will need to do uh, is to just add a mat divider so that we can start with a boundary at the top. Then we're going to add a mat list option here. Okay. And we're going to loop through our chats. This would be let chats of chat of my chats. And we will as usual use the async pipe. Now each mat list option will assign a value. So for the value, we are going to use the chats ID. Okay. So now what we will do is that we will just um, for the time being, we're just going to add the charts dot chat name to see whether it works and let's test things out. Great. So now as we can see, we have our two charts at my siblings Zen and Hina and we can select it. Great. Now let's spice up our chart list with the additional data that we have. So first we need an image. Let's add an image here. Let's remove this for the time being here and let's add an image. Okay. For the image tag, we are going to use the mat list avatar directive. This is going to give it the nice rounded shape and position it in the correct area automatically. In the source for this, we are going to see, we are going to test chat pick. And if it is not empty, we are going to use the same. But if it is empty as before, we are going to use the assets folder and get the placeholder. Great. Let's test this out. Okay. We can see the two images that we have here. Okay. It's not correctly placed, but that's because we don't have any data here yet. Okay. So the next thing that we need to do is to add the a P tag. So we're going to add a P tag and we're going to use the mat line directive to specify that it is a line of the list item. And within it, we'll have a class of, uh, or rather we'll give it a class of chat title. Okay. And within it, we'll have two spans. So the first span would be your chat name. Okay. So this would be chat dot chat name. And then at the far end of the row, we will have the chat date. This would be the last message date. We are going to call it last message date. Okay. And at the end of this, we are going to show the last message in another line that this would be simply chat dot last message. Okay. Let's see how this looks. Great. This looks nice. Okay. But we need to add some styling for it. So we are going to add some styling to it and we're going to go in our CSS and for our chat title, we are going to make it display flex because we want to uh, make it into a row and we're going to justify content as space between. Then for the chat name, we want it to be a bit more bold. So we're going to make the font weight as 500. Okay. And for the chat date, we want the font size to be a bit less about 0.7 REM and the color to be a slightish gray color. So a black, but with an opacity of 0.7. Okay. So the chat date and the last message date, uh, the last message date and the last message do not show up because we don't have any data for that. We don't have any messages yet. So let's add um, them. But before that also, uh, right before this, we are going to add a mat divider. Okay. For each of the list items. Great. We get a, a nice looking mat divider. Okay. Now, so to test that we're not going to add a messages uh, through the app uh, at this point. Let's just go in our Firebase console and add a message, uh, a last message and a last message date there. So let's find out the chat 
which we have uh, between me and my sister Hina. So that's so this is the chat. Let's add the last message state here. So we're going to add a field here and we're going to say, okay, last message and uh, let's add the message of here there. Okay. And then let's add another field of last message state for the time being. Let's keep it string and we're just going to write 14 dash six dash 2022 to test things out. Okay. Now when we go back, we can see that, okay, we already have our data as we wanted it. Okay. So you can see an issue here that, uh, apparently the display flex is not being applied here properly. Uh, so after some inspection, I found out that to add an import here as well, so that the flex gets precedence. And when we see here now we can get the date in the right position. Great. So now our, our list is now done and you can see as soon as we change things here, like for example, if we say, Hey there, how are you? You can see as soon as we update it, we are going to get it updated in our app as well. This is the great thing about Firebase. Everything is reactive and we don't even have to refresh the page. So our chat list is now all done. So in the next video, we are going to continue with the app and we are going to add the messages area layout here and then start adding new messages to our chats. I hope you're liking this set of videos and if you have any comments or queries, shoot away in the comment section. And as always, be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching.